been sending me some text messages. Here we go. Oh my God, Ben, why? Today is a big day. I mean, there's all the emotional things that go along with getting a vasectomy and being done with the stage of life that we're in. It's also a surgery. So, I think I'm also gonna pour myself a glass of apple juice. Mmm, settle the nerves. Eden, what did you say? <laughs> say it again. I said they're just enjoying that last morning as parents. <laughs> How you feeling? I have to go to school. Yeah. Or else I'm gonna be late. All right. Well, have a good day at school. Bye. With your surgery. Thanks. There's just no sperm in it. Bye. And after. We're having a scientific biology discussion here. No, this After, is not. After like <laughs> going 15 or 20 times, uh, there's no more, there's supposed to be no more sperm. And then you can go get your sperm tested. I guess it's 45 days later. You get your sperm tested, make sure you're shooting blanks. And that's how that works. <laughs> well, hopefully that is, is strong enough. And no science from her. Right. <sighs> Can't read anymore. Why not? I don't know. I leave in ten minutes. Nervous. It's just weird because kids have been the biggest, like the best decision we ever made in our life. I think it's like done more to make our life richer and deeper than anything we've ever done. That's like one side. The other side is I feel like I'm done. Yeah, just because something's like really good. It doesn't mean that shouldn't end at some point. Yeah. And I felt like for most of my adult life, I spent so much time talking about how good kids were and even like took kind of moral stances on why we should have them and other people should have them and believed it was like uh, better spiritually even to not use birth control. But now, I'm learning that we have a choice. And even like this, even if you believe like God wants you to, you're still making that choice. Yeah. And sometimes it takes more faith or courage to make a choice that even like at one point in my life seemed like it was taking the easy way out or something. And courage to let yourself change. And in those changes, let yourself make different choices than your past self would have made. Yeah. Like you have permission to change. I feel like we should spend the next five minutes staring into each other's eyes. Fondling your balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. You're gonna make me cry. I don't wanna cry. <laughs> oh, I'm strong. <laughs>
can't really believe this is happening. I'm just flooded with all these memories about getting pregnant, all those times having all these babies the last 20 years and knowing that that's not gonna happen anymore. Those magical moments are done. And it's sad. It's like there's a part of me that wants to experience that again, but not, not enough. <laughs> so what am I feeling? I feel sad. I feel accomplished. I feel overwhelmed with thinking of the last 20 years and then thinking of what's next and what Ben's going through, with the surgery. It's hard to believe that I'm at this point in life. I didn't ever really see it coming. I mean, I knew eventually, right? You're done having kids, but I didn't know it would come this way. So this is really new. I feel really nostalgic. Thinking back on all those years. It's funny though, because when you're going through it, you don't know or appreciate really what you're going through quite like you do later <laughs> in life. And I'm sure that's just the way it is with most things because you don't have the perspective then that you do later on. I'm also excited, excited for what's to come in this new stage of life. I was thinking this morning, just all what it takes to have a baby. And like, that it's like a really hard thing and it's also a really magical time of growing a person inside of you and what that feels like. Birthing that person, meeting them for the first time, the high you feel like right after you give birth and breastfeeding this little human. So, such an intimate thing and such a bonding thing. And it's magical, really it is. And it's hard to know that that's, I won't have that anymore. Like that's done. So yeah, that, that makes it sad. Cause yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Except for that's sad. Cause that was a really cool, amazing experiences to have. This morning before Ben comes back from his surgery, I am planning on going and picking up some treats for him, different things that I know he'll enjoy this week. I was thinking about getting a balloon and I was like, do they have vasectomy balloons? <laughs> no, probably not at just your local grocery store. I'm sure I could have custom ordered something online, but I'm not gonna do that. That would have been fun though. You are the Sending me some text messages. Here we go. Oh my God, Ben, why? Ah! Okay. I don't even know if this is suitable to show on camera. He says, all done. <laughs> oh, f uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you need to go to your music yeah, lesson. I know, but don't clean this out. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm a bit in shock. This. Okay, so this is the two little tubes that they cut off. I'm looking at my shocked face. Oh wow, honey, good job. Oh, 
Uh, I'm kind of worn out. I bet. I'm not turning up. I can't believe you sent me your fucking tube picture. <laughs> the two that they cut off of you. <laughs> that I almost tried to was brilliant and cruel. Maybe cruel is the wrong word. Brilliant and insensitive all at the same time. <laughs> I got you flowers. Really? Yes. Oh, mm. honey. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and then I got you some of your favorite ice cream. Um, that might be the wrong one, but, but I got cookies and cream, cookie dough, and s'mores. That was on sale to get four, but then I got you some pomegranate juice. They didn't have any pomegranates. And then I got you some blueberries. Oh. <laughs> I was like racing, cause I was like, oh, oh no. Like, I had this plan last night to get you this stuff. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, cause you're going through a lot. Just like when I would go through birth, you would get me a bunch of stuff. Mama, this mama, like your mama, birth. mama, mama. Not right now, okay? Aww. This is for Dad, because Dad got an owie down here. So we need to take care of Dad, okay? <laughs> He's like, no, actually, you can take care of me. <laughs> okay. Well, time for a new chapter. Yes. Mm. Mm. Don't tell me you kept the tubes. They probably no, didn't I, let you. I, I thought about it. Okay. I need to go lay down. Sweet.